Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship tutorial, and this is part one of my RMS Majestic tutorial. Now the Majestic was formerly known as the Bismarck, but uh, post First World War she was handed over to the White Star Line as compensation for, well, White Star losing a lot of their ships, so it's sort of, uh, yeah, compensation. We have a quick fly around the ship anyway, so the ship uh, we're going to be building, the full length is uh, 465 blocks long. She is 51 blocks wide at the, well the, the hull is, and the full width of the ship is 53 wide. That takes into account the uh, overhang of the promenade. And the ship in height, uh, from the keel to the top of the boat deck, where the top lifeboat site is 51 blocks, so she's a bit taller than that. But to uh, fly around the ship anyway, I've already done a preview video of this thing. And it seems to have been a fairly popular build. And so we shall commence with the tutorial. Now part one, which is today, was going to be uh, split into two really because I normally do the draft in part one and then the main hull in part two. But because uh, of this ship is such an awkward design, especially around the stern, uh, the draft is going to be split into two parts. So we're going to do part one, which will be the front half and the mid section of the red section. And then part two, we'll work on the back half of the red section. So. Uh, well, it's, it's going to be split, in, split into threes, really. So the first half in the midsection, or the first third in the midsection, will be today. The final third around the propellers area will be in part two. So that's what that's going to be. So that's the Majestic, formerly Bismarck. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to fly over to the build area now. And I've already laid the keel of the ship. The keel is 399 blocks long, so that's what you're going to need. The keel, of course, is the backbone and the centre line of the ship, or the, yeah, the centre line. And let's get our build tools. So there's the keel. The keel is just a long line of grey wool. So we're going to use red concrete for today for the red section. So like I say, the first third and the middle third section of the red will be today. The final third will be in part two. So that's what we're going to do. Right, so what we're going to do is start on the fourth block of the keel. And we'll be working on the left-hand side, the port side of the ship. Remember, port left, starboard right. So we're working on the left-hand side. So what I do, I build this side, and then I can flip it over. So that's that. So we're going to start on the fourth block of the keel. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to build two rows of four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we want a row of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we want three rows of four. So we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, two, three, four. And then we want uh, two rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then a row of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then uh, two rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, a row of 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then a row of 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, and then a row of 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then two rows of 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then a row of 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then a row of 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. <laughs> and then a row of 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is going on forever, this is. All right, so that's the 50, and then you want a row of 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Like that. And then we want a row of 103. So first block there. Okay, back again. Apologies there for the jump cut, but the recording program decided to stop working about halfway down there. So um, apologies there. But anyway, we've got that row of 18, that last row of 18. So after that row of 18, we want to build a line of blocks, 103 blocks long. So that's the first block there, and you want to build it 103 blocks long. So that's the first block, and I shall build it freehand and then measure it when I get to the end. So that should be 103 blocks, and then we can start curving inwards. So let's see how far we get. Oh, hang on, missed one. So just do it freehand. 
how far is that? That is, that's 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103. So that's 103 there. It says at the end of that pink sentence. That's 103, that's fine. And that line should look something like that. So it looks a bit weird at the moment because there's nothing there, but that's that. Right, anyway. Now we're going to curve back inwards. So at the end of the 103, you're going to want to build a line of... Uh, two lines actually of 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then a row of 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, and then 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then uh, 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then uh, 5 rows of 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 5 rows of 6 like that, and then uh, 3 rows of 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 3 rows of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then uh, five rows of three, so one, two, three, 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 like that. And then at the end, you want a row of 34, so that's three, four, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. And that 34 should be right at the end of the keel, like that, so it should look something like that and uh, kind of like a, a leaf shape if you like or a half leaf all right so that is half of the uh, floor done so i'm just going to do a quick copy paste so do copy from there and get rid of that and i shall copy flip it paste it on the other side and then you'll see the uh, full width and everything so like i said i normally build thing, everything everything on the left and then i do a copy paste and flip it around onto the right so i always do this so if you're familiar then you'll know what I'm doing. Alright, so I just flop down to the end of the keel here. And we do copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go, that's both sides done. And it should look something like that. So if you're on console or working on your own or whatever, then you're gonna need a team of people to be building this thing because it is huge. But if you've got welded it like me, I think Pocket Editions have got a weld editor as well now, so you should be okay. But uh, that is our ship, or our ship's bottom anyway, so that is that. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I uh, number these sections. So if you're familiar with my usual, or the last few tutorials anyway, I usually go from the centre. I usually put signs on each section of the hull, so the centre line will be zero, and then one, two, three, four. So I'm just going to go away do a jump cut and number these things and then we shall return and start building the next part so uh, back in a moment okay back again now I've numbered all the, all the sections of the uh, hull itself so section 0 is the center line so the kill there which is 0 and then either side of that is section 1 2 3 4 so on all the way out to number 23 I think at the very far outside so I just fly out to the outside and make sure that is number 23 do, 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 do. So the very far end yep, is number 23, and it's the same on the back end as well. I've numbered all those sections, so we'll curve back inwards as well. So each section is 23 outwards all the way to uh, the center line. So th these may change as well. I may re reverse these to say this is number one and so on. Um, but before we move on to building the next section, we're just going to go to the back end of this 103 here. So at the back end of it, and what we're going to do, we're going to build out two, and then two again, and then label them. So I label that one uh, 24, and label this one 25, because I forgot to do these, so <laughs> that's uh, what these sections are. So that's 23 there, 24, 25, so that increases the width of the ship. So that's those bits there. And then what we do, we fly to the front end of the uh, 103, and look at my notes, because I've forgotten what I'm supposed to be doing. You bear with me, I've just thrown something on the floor which really didn't help. And I just throw my notepad on the floor. Yeah, things are going brilliantly today. Right, so for the front end, we're going to go and build uh, two out. So we add, so for the front end of the 103 again, so we add uh, two out again. 
and then add one block there, so one block back, and then add two out again, so one, two like that. So it's, it looks silly, but uh, that's the way it goes. So on this block here, we add that and add that one as 24, and then this one as 25, like that. So, excuse me if I sound a bit rushed, but when I forget things, I, it annoys me. So, change my notes back over again. So, we're going to move on to the next job now. So, that I'll do the other side in a minute, so don't worry about that. So, as long as we've got these two rows, ex these two extra rows added, we're okay. So, 23, 24, 25, that's fine. So, we're going to fly back to the number zero. And we'll start the building from there. So we're going to start building the the, the hull upwards. So we'll start from the se section zero. And what we're going to do, we're going to build forward three. So we go one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three. So it's four rows of three. And then we want uh, three rows of two. So two, two, and two. And up two. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three, like that. And that should be, uh, the red section, including the keel, should be 15 high. So that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And the keel makes it 15, so that's fine. So that's section 0. I just adjust my notes so I know what I'm doing. So now we move on to section 1. So I'm working on the left-hand side again, but it's the same for both sides. So section number 1, we build forward 4 rows of 3 again. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, so two and two, and then up two, and then up three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then one, like that. So that is section zero and one done. So now we move on to section two. So I change my notes again. So on to section two. We go forward four rows of three again, so one, two, three, one, two, three. One two three, one two three, and then two two, so two rows of two, so two and two, and then up two, and then three, one two three, and then four, one two three four, and then two, one two like that, and that's the same height again. So that was section number two. Now we're on to section three. Let's adjust my notes again. So on section three, it's four rows of three again. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's four rows of three like that. And then we want uh, three rows of two. So two, two, two. And then up two. And then up three. One, two, three, three again. One, two, three. And then two. One, two like that. So that's section three. Now on to section number four. Adjust my notes again. So section four, we go two rows of three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three again, one, two, three, and then we want uh, one, two, three, four, five rows of two, so one, two, three, four, five rows of two, like that, and then up two, and then up three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, like that, and that's the same height again, so that's fine. So now we're on to section number five. Just adjust my notes again. So section five, we want uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I want five rows of three here. So one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five. So that should be five rows of three. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. And then we want uh, four rows of two. So one, two, three, four. And then we want up two. And then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, like that. And that's the same height again, so that's fine there. Now we're on to section number six. Change my notes again. So section six, we want a row of four, one, two, three, four, and then four rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. and then four rows of two. So it's one, two, three, four, and then up two. And up three, one, two, three, and then up two, one, two, like that. So that's the same height again. That's fine. And now we're on to section seven. Change my notes again. So to section seven, we want two rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then three rows of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. So it's three rows of three, and then we want uh, four rows of two. So one, two, three. Four, and then up two, 
and then up three, one, two, three, and then up two, one, two, like that. And then we go same height again. Now we move on to section number eight. Choose my notes again. So on section eight, we do uh, two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then four rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. and then we want uh, four rows of two. So one, two, three, and four, and then we do up two, up three, one, two, three, and then up uh, one, basically one on the end like that. So it's uh, shaped like that. So that is section number, that was number eight. So now we're on to number nine. I'll change my notes again, so bear with me. So on to number nine, we want a row of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And then three rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we want uh, one, two, three, four, five rows of two. So one, two, three, four, five, and then up two, and then up two again, and that's the same height again, so that's fine. Now we're on to section 10, so change my notes again. Section 10, we want two rows of five, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then we want a row of four, one, two, three, four, and then two rows of three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we go up two and then one. And that's the same height again. So that's fine. So that was section 10. And now on to section 11. So once again, change my notes. Section 11, we want to go uh, forward six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then five, one, two, three, four, five. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows of two. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one on top like that. And that brings it to the same height, like so. And now we move on to section 12. I'll change my notes again. So section 12, we build uh, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then five, one, two, three, four, five. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then two rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rows of two. Go okay, one, two, three, four five six seven and then up two and then one and there we go that's the same height again so now we're on to section 13 which is dead in the middle so we're halfway now so section 13 we want uh three rows of five so one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five and then four one two three four and then three rows of three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six rows of two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, like that. And then we go, same height again. All right, so now we move down to section 14, and once again, change my notes. So section 14, we want three rows of five, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then a row of four, one, two, three, four, and then uh, four rows of three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we want one, two, three, four, five, six rows of two, so one, two, three, four, five, and six, and that's the same height as the rest, so that's fine. So now I move on to section number 15. I'll change my notes again. So section 15, we want four rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 
So that's four rows of five like that. And then two rows of four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then uh, three rows of three. One, two, I want. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five rows of two. So it's one, two, two, three, four, five. And that's the same height. That is, that's, that's fine. So that's all that done. So now we move on to section uh, 16. Once again, change my notes. So section 16, we want uh, a row of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then a row of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four, one, two, three, four. Uh, and then uh, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six rows of three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And then two rows of two, so two and two. And that's the same height as the rest, so that's fine as well. All right, so now we move on to section number 17. Change my notes again. So section 17, we want uh, two rows of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three rows of three. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then three rows of two. So two, two, and two. And that's the same height as the rest as well. So definitely taking shape. Looks weird, but when it's complete, it will look fine to a degree. Right, so now we move down to section 18. And once again, change my notes. So section 18, we want uh, two rows of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then a row of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then three rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then two rows of two. So two and two. And that's the same height as the rest as well. Right, so let me move on to section, uh, what is it? Section 19. And what we're going to do is section 19, we want two rows of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. And then six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then four rows of three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then two. One, two. And that's the same height as the rest again. So I crack it on with this one. It's actually working better than the last one. Right, so now we move down to section 20. So we're nearly home. So section 20, just adjust my notes again. So section 20, we want three rows of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that was three rows, that's fine. And then we want three rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then five rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And that's the same height as the rest as well. So crack it on and doing very well. Right, so now we move down to section 21, which is this one here. So section 21, change my notes again. So section 21, we want three rows of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
and then six one two three four five six and then seven one two three four five six seven and then uh, six again one two three four five six uh, and then four rows of five so one two three four five 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 and then two rows of four one two three four one two three four and then two rows of three one two three one two three and that's the same height again so everything's lining up fine now I move down to section 22 and change my notes again so section 22 we want 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 actually lagged there a second so bear with me so 1 to there to there so yep that was 8 that's fine so we want 8 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 rows of 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that was 6 rows of 7 I just double check that so 1 2 3 4 5 6 that was fine so that was 6 rows of 7 and then we want a row of 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then 2 rows of 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 and then 2 rows of 4 1 2 3 4 one two three four and then two rows of three one two three and one two three and that's the same height as the rest as well so that was <coughs> section 22 so now we're on to section 23 so I just changed my notes so bear with me a second I've got to change the page uh, and section 23 right so Right, so on the section 23 we want to remove that block there because that's in the way but to the, the section 24 is fine so on section 23 we do a row of 15 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 40 15 and then two rows of 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then four rows of 7 one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six seven I just double check that so that's uh, so that's how long, how long was that one that one's that's the eight and that's seven 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 and seven so that was the four rows of seven I just want to double check that so that's fine and then we want a row of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then three rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's the same height as the rest, so that's fine there. And then we move down to section twenty-four, which is just one block up from the uh, section twenty-three. So section 24 on top of that block we want to build a row of 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then three rows of 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then two rows of 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 I just double check that because it lagged a second so that should be six and that's fine and then we want uh, two rows of five one two three four five one two three four five and then two rows of four one two three four one two three four and then two rows of three one two three one two three and that's the same height as the rest and then finally on to section 25 right down here section 25 we want to build just change my notes actually so section 25 want to build eight so one two three four five six seven eight and then uh, three rows of seven so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and then two rows of six one two three four five six one two three four five six and then uh, two rows of five one two three four five one two three four five Two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 
and then two rows of three so one two three and one two three and that's the same height as before as well so that is all of those sections are done and you can see the last section does sit on top of that number 25 like that so that's all those sections done and now what we're going to do we're going to go to the inside now if you're familiar with my tutorials in the past then you know what to do next uh, or you can do the other side first if you want to but it's up to you but because uh, I've got I've got well did it I'm just going to do the one side and then copy flip it and you know what but uh, if you're familiar with the next job you just go on the inside here and just fill in the gaps here between each pillar or each section rather and that should fill out the hull quite nicely so each section along just fill in each section and it should all look mighty fine So I'll do the first few sections and then I'll uh, do a jump cut and we should all be okay. Is there one more along I think? So there we go, there's the well, I haven't done that one, so Mr. Couple. That all done. So that's the first few sections done, and from the outside, it should look something like that. So you got sort of the basics of a hull taking shape. So you just want to carry on with all the rest of the sections up to number 25, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I uh, fill in the rest, and then uh, we'll move on to the next job. So I'm um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I filled in all the gaps of the hull, and it should look something like that. Not perfect, but uh, it's sort of as good as it's going to get. But there you go and like I said I've only done one side so when I've finished I shall flip it over and uh, paste it on the other side but before we move on to uh, before we uh, do flip it over we're going to move down to the back end of the hull now now I did say at the beginning that we're not going to do the back end of the hull today but I'm actually going to do the first section of it just to uh, so we can get the straight edge on this area here so I'm going to go fly down to the uh, back end of the uh, the 103 and uh, we can remove that block there and remove that one there because they're not needed because we're going to be building on top there like that so on section 25 which is here on the back end of course so just adjust my notes so of course with the back end of the ship on this number 25 what we're going to do is build uh two rows of eight back so one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and then two row, uh, three rows of seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was three, wasn't it? Yep. And then we want uh, three rows of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then four rows of five, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And that should be that section there. So that should be 15 high altogether. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 15 high, the same as the height as the uh, front end. So that is the first section of the stern. And we'll do the rest of it uh, in the next part. So what we're going to do uh, between the front and the back section is on these uh, these two blocks out here so we'll go from the bottom or uh, well, the middle block here which is this one here and we're just going to build a line all the way forward to connect to the middle block on the front end so it just basically creates the curve at the bottom of the hull so we shall crack on with that so just do this one side Ooh, and up to there and you can see it joins onto the front end there and the same with the, the this block here so from the, the outside block the bottom block here just build the line all the way to the back end as well so it's just just creating the the curve or a subtle curve of the hull and it should all be nice and neat when it's done up to that point there so there we go that's the, the bottom curve done and then what we want to do is just uh, create the outside wall of the hull so this is going to be a pain in the ass so bear with me when I do this I'm just going to build the side of the hull the same height as the as the, uh, the sections here so I'm just going to fill in this side bit here and I really should be using welded it for this bit because it takes so bloody long 
So that's that one, and I should use world edit for the rest. So down from there to there, that is set 251 by 14, like that, and the next row as well. So I'm just straightening off the edges just to create the uh, the side. So that's basically all we're doing is just filling in the side of the hull now, and uh, it will look fine when it's done. So if you can see on the prototype, you got the big white, the big red wall wall on the side. So that's what we're creating now and it should all look nice and neat when it's done and what we're on we're on the outside edge now so we're just or well, the bottom edge so we just fly all the way to the other end to the to the front down to that block there and there we go that's the side all done and then we're just fill in the rest Forever, this does. Right, so I just do the last few sections freehand, may as well. And there we go. That's the uh, outside edge done. So you get the, you can see you got the uh, the curve going down, and then the curves back up at the back end. And uh, that is what that section should look like. So I just fly to the back end and uh, talk about the back end because the back end is. Uh, a little more complicated. As you can see on the prototype in the distance, it sort of uh, it curves up again, but then we've got the sort of an extra section where it sort of bows over and sort of curves back down again. We'll get to that in a second, the explanation of it anyway. So I'm just gonna, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this side over to the other side, and then we can move on to um, uh, talking about the other side. So bear with me when I just fly over to the front end and copy, paste, flip, or copy, flip, and paste, and uh, we should all be fine. So I'll have both sides of the keel done. So down to uh, there, we'll copy to that point, get rid of that. Sit on this block here, and we'll do copy, flip to the right, and then we we'll paste. And there we go, that's both sides done, and it should look something like that. And uh, I would say it looks mighty fine, but there's not really much to talk about because it's just a draft. But it's done nonetheless. Alright, so we're going to fly down to the back end. Because we've got a big open chasm now where the stern is not complete. But that's not something to worry about because that'll be for part two. But we're going to fly over to the stern over here to, so I can explain to you what the uh, back end will look like when it's done. So I'll just get the old uh, shrub of magic potion. And we just fly underneath. You can see at the end of the keel, you can see this section here, a big smooth section here, and the keel ends just there. And at the end of the keel, it curves up and then into an archway and then curves down slightly for the for it to uh, connect to the um, the rudder. And uh, it looks complicated, but it does look quite good when it's all done. I mean, this is the first time I've actually gone ahead and built a stern of a ship like this, so it's uh, it all looks quite neat. And uh, I like it. It looks uh, it looks quite good. At least that's my opinion anyway, I don't care what anyone else thinks. But that's what we're going to be focusing on in part two. And like I said, it is quite complicated. I mean, uh, we did the Titanic draft in one video last time, and that, that took an hour on its own, you know, just a draft, and that's a fairly basic one. But this one is slightly more complicated. So uh, we'll leave this section for part two, and then uh, we'll come back and do that then. And then for part three onwards will be the uh, black hole. Uh, so yeah, that's that. So that is part one done of the Majestic. Like I say, it's the red section we've done. Part well, two thirds of it anyway, so uh, the rest of it will be in part two. So that is that for today. Um, so yeah, so part two will be the uh, stern. Part three will be uh, the black section of the hull. And then part four onwards will be the white superstructure decks and all things like that. So part four onwards will be everything above the white or everything white and above. So that would be for that. So, like I say, this is it for part one. So part two will be the stern, and that will be the end. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. And I shall return for part two of the Majestic as and when. So, uh, bye for now.